Hello, my beautiful Pisces. This is going to be your reading for the rest of July. Um, if you would like a personal reading for yourself, you can email me and that will be in the description box. All right. So Spirit is saying like many of you feel lost. You feel lost, but Spirit wants you to know that you are not lost. When you feel like you are lost, you are actually um, clearing way for so much more. You know, and I hear greater is I am. Spirit wants you to know that you are destined for more. And for some of you, I hear late your late 20s or your late 30s. Um, and I also hear elders. So just know that you're going to be surrounded by some elders, some spiritual people who are going to lift you up and keep you focused on um, whatever opportunities are right in front of you, all right? And I hear like you are safe. So I don't know if any of you guys have been feeling like you're not safe. Maybe some of you guys have been experiencing high levels of anxiety, but spirit wants you to know that you are safe. And I hear sweet whispers. So sweet whispers to me just means your spirit guides. Your spirit guides can be giving you sweet whispers. You can feel cold chills running through your body and that's your spirit guides also surrounding you and letting you know that you're 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 going to be okay, you know. Um and and I hear the same thing clearing the way for you. So if you don't feel safe, it just means that there's big big changes all around you. Um and what you what you could see as things are over things are not turning out the way that I had hoped if you feel that way like lots of um disappointment some of you guys have been waiting for like an approval and I don't know if this is like an approval for a new lease um I even hear like a uh, an approval for like a procedure some of you guys could be getting like a procedure done and you just need the approval for it I don't know if some of you guys are having like health issues and the approval has to go through your insurance before you can start the procedure. Um, but the thing is that Spirit is just basically saying, they're asking, they're calling you to walk by faith and not by sight, all right? So that's what you're gonna be going through. It's like answering your higher call, you know? Many of you, if you are curious about like, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I, pursuing my purpose the way that I should. And the answer is yes for whoever gets to this video. The answer is yes for anybody who's been questioning their their purpose or their direction in life, you know? Because I hear false hope. You could have been given like lots of false hope or thinking that things were gonna pick up or things were gonna get back to normal. And honestly, maybe it's time to accept this new normal for now. Everything is temporary. So when things are going your way, be grateful when things don't work out. Just know that there's a, a shift that is occurring for you. Um, so let's see what else is going on for you. Spirit also says be careful of getting advice from the wrong people. You know, like, be careful of who you take advice from. Not everybody will have the right answers for you. And it, it just like, you know... Suppose you, you go to like multiple tarot readers. Be careful which readers you actually listen to because not, not every reader will resonate with your spirit. So it's just like make sure that you, you go within. Even with that little whisper, make sure that like it feels like it resonates with your soul. Um, spirit wants you to know that you just completed you just completed a chapter in your life. And I hear bad habits were holding you back. If you wanted to know what was holding you back from your destiny, it could have been your behavioral habits, um, things that you would quit and then you would go right back to. So it's your behavioral habits. Maybe spirit wants you to be more disciplined. They want you to be more disciplined when it comes to your beliefs. They want you to be more disciplined when it comes to your values. You could have had values set for yourself. You could have even had boundaries set for yourself. You know how you create boundaries and say that I won't allow this or I won't allow that. And then all of a sudden you will fall back down those same habits and it kind of was stagnating your journey. So this is like a completion. It's like the way that I see it, even with the woman at the grave site, I just feel like a lot of you guys are going to put certain, be like you're you're putting certain behavior behavioral habits to rest. There's a certain part of you that's going to die. And that, and that could be another thing too, you know, like... I, I was just thinking to myself, like, we need to um, normalize grieving the loss of our old self. 
you know, like let's normalize the fact that when you go through these um, spiritual transformations, there there's a part of you that is that dies. There's a part of you that no longer can continue moving the way that you used to. There's, you know, you can't you can't be in the same places that you used to. You can't communicate or, or hang with the same people that you used to. And although it's for your highest good, or you, you know, you can't even make love to the same people that you used to. And although it it feels devastating it's for your highest good but let's still normalize the fact that even if it's for your highest good it doesn't always feel good it doesn't feel good to have to let go of people that you love even though you know it's for your best it doesn't feel good if you know you had certain certain habits and now you have to break them and become more disciplined it's kind of painful change can be painful so i feel like this is what you were going through you could have been resisting you could have been fighting you could have you could have been falling back into old habits and now spirit is just like enough enough you can't keep praying for one thing but doing another so it's like your actions truly need to be aligned with what you what you vision for yourself you know so it's almost like you want to quit your job you want to be an entrepreneur but you're still having you know certain certain behavioral habits that don't fit the new lifestyle you know or you want genuine true love but you keep dealing with people who who are emotionally unavailable and who aren't able to open up to you or love you the way that you want so it's just like that it's like contradicting what you want and and the behavioral habits they don't support it it's not aligned so spirit is just trying to get you more aligned with your vision and you you have to it's like a sacrifice it's almost like spirit is like if you want this then you have to give me this you gotta you gotta show me so you could have just went through a, a test some of you i even hear undeserving this could have been some of, some of your self-sabotaging habits could have been because you didn't feel deserving because of what you've been through or what people put you through made you feel as if you weren't deserving of certain certain things you truly wanted. So this is what's being put to bed. It's, it's being done. And this is the breakthrough. I even hear karma. You're going to notice that you feel more karma. And I hear like there's going to be people that are put on your path that are more fit for you. You know, so the thing is, it's like if you are a Pisces and you have a big, big heart and you're vulnerable and you are a lighthearted spirit and you love to have fun and you're very optimistic and, and you know, you're special. You're going to start to meet people who are more like you. I even hear like um, coming towards you now. And I hear masters. Some of you guys can be going for your master's degree. Some of you guys could have just earned your master's degree. And it's like awareness. So you you went through this for a reason. You went through this to gain so much awareness, so much wisdom. This is going to put you in alignment. If you felt like, God, I'm not on alignment, or every time I think I'm doing it, things just fall apart, it's because you weren't truly in alignment with you, with your desires. So this is what's going to happen. Because I even hear like splitting you apart. Some of you guys was even holding on to people that was treating you bad. People that were treating you bad and people who would make you feel like you weren't worthy of love or affection or, or quality time. And I even hear like, wait, 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 I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. You're going to notice like, as you start to move on, there's, there's, it, it can, ugh, I can't talk. It can be a specific person or it can just be people. Like as you move on, on and you go towards your greatest self there's gonna be people who feel really i hear desperate and lonely like wanting your attention there's a person or people who are going to be very desperate and lonely without you that's another thing too pisces sometimes in life you got to recognize the type of power that you hold when people don't appreciate your presence sometimes you just got to take it away so that they can feel your absence without you there could be a specific... I'm going to see who this is. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is you. Like, I don't know why I hear overloaded. Some of you guys could have been overwhelmed. You could have felt overloaded. You had seeds. You have dreams. You have certain things that you were praying for, hoping for, that it would come to fruition. And it was causing you too much burden. You're going to you're gonna release it. You know? Um... Some of you, I even hear like my ex could never get me back. My ex could, couldn't even pay me to be with them again. You know, I see you. I hear you saying this. You could you could say it to somebody. 
<laughs> my ex couldn't even pay me to be back with them. And for some of you, I see you with somebody else. And this is only for some of you. Some of you, you still, you, you moved on to someone, right? You're with someone, you're in a relationship, but you were still holding on to the past pain and regret of, of an ex prior to the person that you're with right now. It's like, they hurt you so bad. It's like, and I hear they couldn't even perform in bed. Some of, some of, <laughs> I ain't doing this today. Some of them couldn't even perform in bed. Some of them was like a drunk. They would, I don't even know, because I just hear alcohol poisoning, you know? Somebody could have had some really um, strong addictions when it comes to, like, alcohol, because I hear alcohol poisoning. Somebody didn't know the limit when it came to the liquor. Um, anyway, I just hear, like, they weren't even all that good in bed. So you could, you could even find yourself going back and thinking in your mind, someone you were you were tied to, and, like, why did I even like them? They didn't even... You know, they have these addictions and they weren't even that great in bed. Why was I holding on to them so tight? Sometimes spiritual ties will do that to you, Pisces. But you see what I'm trying to say? You sitting down and you some of you could be with someone else, but you're still thinking about someone from the past wondering why you even had the attraction that you had to them or what was it about them now that it's done. Now that the lesson that spirit gave you with this person is done you're like sitting like what the heck was i thinking but that's how you know that you have graduated that's how you know that um you're rising up higher within yourself and within your love life and within your desires if you can look back and see an ex and say like what was i thinking it just means like you overcame you needed them you needed them like spirit uses soulmates and people they attract and mirror certain aspects of our personality or certain behavioral patterns that we need to to release i even hear calling you back in yeah see like some of you too could have just you could have been waiting so long for this person to come back and it just caused you lots of deep disappointment you know um i don't know why i hear the song thinking out loud but yeah it, it it gave you a lot of disappointment, um, a lot of sadness that you could have been waiting on someone or waiting, yeah, waiting for someone to return or waiting for things to get better and it never did. And then you ended up releasing it. So you're going to, you're going to feel like really, yeah, I knew it. You're going to feel really, really disappointed. So, so with that song, um, you could have pictured yourself being with this person. You could have thought you guys were going to be together for a very long time. You could you had a strong soul tie with this person and things were I don't know why, I hear rough. It could have been like an emotional roller coaster with this person. One minute you guys were doing really good and you guys were lovey-dovey, then the next minute things would just fall apart. It's like every time you would open up your heart or get excited about it and you would think that things are about to get better, they would actually get worse. So you're going to be overcoming that, see? You're not going to wait around for this. So you're, you're healing. You're going to heal from... But I don't know why I hear like suicidal thoughts. Some of you need to be careful with your thoughts. Like I hear like putting yourself back together. This situation could have brought you down. Um, some of you guys, you could have even gained weight because like emotional, like emotional eating, being really upset, binge eating, you know, like this situation, like when, when it wasn't going the way that you, that you hoped that it would go, it could have been like affecting your mental and emotional state. It could have led you to binge eating a lot, but this is what you're going to be healing for. And I have, I keep hearing it, like calling you back in, like they're restless over you. They're restless over you. And they can't stand the fact that they, they can't have you the way they used to. So I'm saying like, maybe you used to be more open to them. You could have been more open to them. You could have been on their body <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like you pulled the way. You could have pulled the way and waited for them to step up. You pulled the way, you were waiting for them to step up and the fact that you didn't chase them or that you didn't give them the, the attention that they thought you would, um, this is what led to them like being, it's like bittersweet with them, you know? 
And I hear like them saying like mostly every girl that I do this to, they 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 run after me. So it could be a method that they use that, you know, girl or, or guy, whatever gender you put it as it fits. But it's like they could it could be something that they use like a, a tactic to say, oh, let me hold back. And if I hold back, then that means this person will chase after me and you didn't do it. Let me see. Yeah, they were giving you uncertain vibes. They were giving you hot and cold vibes. And this person can live at a distance from you. And if they held back, it's because they're fearful of rejection. And you could be too. I don't know why, but I just felt that. And one of the things, they feel like you intimidate me. The truth, like, let me see. What's up with this person? Who is this person? You know, too, it don't seem like you guys could have been, like, you guys could have been together. I hear seven. Some of you guys, seven months, seven weeks. <laughs> Who is this person? There's no communication. There's, like, a lack of communication between you and them. It could have been somebody, too, who um, their heart was closed off. You you felt like they were superficial. Um Somebody who would try to come off as like cold. What's going on with them? Yeah. It's like they close off. They're upset. They feel like they lost hope. They they walked away from this and they've been focusing on themselves. And that's not them that could be you. You know. Um, and I hear photographic memory. So they think about you a lot. They have you in their mind a lot. They have... Uh, strong memories about you two when you were together and it seems like you guys had a good relationship that's probably why you're disappointed it's like how did things go how how can something so beautiful go so wrong so fast that's what it looked like you know like you were definitely wish fulfillment to them let me see what their issue was See what I'm saying? Like you've mastered the lesson. And I think your your lesson was don't chase it. Like be still. <laughs> don't chase it. Don't put no more into it. If they're not giving you like the appreciation, the love and the, re the, the respect that you deserve, don't chase it. Just leave it. I think you left it. And this is what, what made you master the lesson. And for them, they're supposed to take a leap of faith. They were afraid to truly um, commit to the situation. They were afraid to commit. It's like they had a, they didn't trust, maybe they didn't trust you or they just didn't feel like the situation was safe. Even if spirit could have been giving them signs that you could trust it. They didn't trust their intuition for some reason when it came to the situation and they were afraid. To me, this person could have a fear of commitment is what I see um, or completely giving to you. So they could have given you bits and pieces. I hear completely. They could have been giving you bits and pieces like, you know, week one, you guys are good. And week two, they start to withdraw. Then week three, they're back. Then week four, they withdraw. And it's like they didn't trust the situation. Um, let me see. Yeah. See what I mean? This is a soulmate. Ooh, ooh. This, this was a soulmate. Or is. I don't know what. I don't know what your timeline is with this situation. Let me see more. Yeah. So spirit wants you. This is this is the most important thing of what I was basically saying for you. It's like we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for our growth. Is this relationship hindering you or supporting you? I don't know why I hear like you have a bad attitude. Somebody felt like someone had a bad attitude. The other person felt like they were manipulating them. To me, it just seems like there was a, um, and I even hear like cross-examining your friends. Maybe you can be cross-examining your friends. Maybe if you had a group of friends, they would, they would watch your friends. You know how some people can judge you by the people you hang out with. It could have been a situation like that. Um, but if they hurt you in any way, they carry a lot of deep guilt and shame over like their past actions or words, especially, especially words for some reason. If they try to say some cutting things to you that like made you feel 
bad about yourself. They feel really, really awful for what they said to you. Um, so this is, I hear an earth sign. An earth sign is going to enter your world. An earth sign is going to know exactly what to do with your heart. So that's another thing too, Pisces. What kind of heart do you have? Because not everybody knows how to handle your heart. And they even said, like, what actions are you, like, what actions are you putting in that's that's also adding to this? So they want you not only to look and reflect at the soulmate, but what about you? Because this is all going to be about this new love cycle. This seems like a new love cycle. It's like do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. So this to me, I'm going, like, for me, the energy that I get, it doesn't, I feel nothing. <laughs> If I feel nothing, it just means like as much as you probably hope something would have came of this, I feel nothing, like nothing will come of this. But I do hear a return. So you you might try to rehash it with them. For others of you, you released it because it's just too burdensome and you're going to heal from it because it, it hurts you. And I hear blocking you. This Whether you realize it or not, this could have been stagnating your growth. It could have been causing you so much emotional pain, turmoil, and grief that it started to stagnate you and and um mess with your with your money like causing blockages to your to your finances because you were stagnating you were stagnating when it came to your emotions so it affect your your work so just be careful when it comes to that for you what do they love about you i hear my heart races every time i see you so their heart raced every time they see you you know it could have been too like they probably didn't even trust themselves. Like the feelings that they had for you, they probably didn't trust themselves. Um, but I, it's like trust issues. There's trust issues in this connection. You probably didn't trust them. They seem like they didn't really trust you either. But if you slept with this person, they love the way that you moan. Uh, they really just adored you. If you guys went out together, they they loved going out with you, like going out to eat and doing little things. I hear like they noticed everything about you. Like if you were to switch anything up, they were, they were so in tune with your body and the way that you move. Like if anything was to switch up, they would notice it. They noticed everything about you. Like even I even hear like your bad habits. They noticed your bad habits. They noticed your strengths and your weaknesses. This person actually studied you more than you, you think. They love how ambitious you are. And I hear drink. Some of you guys used to drink together. They love sipping with you. And they love foreplay, like licking you from head to toe. They love the foreplay that you guys do. Um, yeah, pro in the bedroom. They found you to be a pro in the in the bedroom. I even hear like changing your zip code. Some, some of the reasons why you two had to depart also, like changing of zip codes. You guys could have moved at a distance from each other. There's something to do with somebody moved and then they came back. So they could have moved out of town and then they could have came back. Um, but yeah, it was just too much uncertainty. Too much uncertainty. Too much in the head. Let me see. What's, what's going on with them currently? Too much fear and a lack of vulnerability and trust. What's going on with this person now? I don't know why I just heard that song. All I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake it out. What's going on with this person now? I hear curvy. If you're curvy, they love your, your body. Let me see. What's going on with this person now? So if you are in a relationship with this person, it's like they, they feel like it might be over. They feel like you, you could have had a, a, a breakup with them. They, they know that they love you still and, or they could have, they could have felt as if somebody felt like the other person had commitment issues. Um, but how they, how they are now, they feel like things ended things ended, you know, like maybe you guys will even have a conversation of like, these are my beliefs and these are mine. And they feel like if you guys end things, it, it just, it was meant to be that way. 
All right. I even hear like publicly apologizing to you. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go on to the extended. I'm going to, I'm going to go to see what's up with this person or who else is going to come towards you. Any other messages from spirit for you? Okay. I send you so much love and light.